Well, with a sermon title like Talking Toilets, <laughs> what are you expecting? Uh, I wonder if I'm going to hit the nail on the head for you or not. Well, let's see. I will tell you this, it's going to be a short sermon, okay? So there we go. By the way, and this, this lesson is for churches and the people therein. Also, it would be pretty good for some businesses, too. How many of you have ever thought about the restrooms at your church? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. If you did, what were you thinking? Nice looking? Clean? Dirty? Irritating? Frustrating? Um, usually, if we're thinking about a restroom, it's either A, because we need it, or B, because, because it's not a good one. I visit a lot of churches every year, and I began to notice a few things, and then I began to, to think about those things. <laughs> okay, some of you are saying, I got too much time on my hands. That's fine. Um, but I think there's some lessons we can learn. And when I say we, I mean, like I said, churches and people that attend the church, people that care for the church, the leadership of the church. Um, church bathrooms can say a lot about the church. You probably never thought about that. Clean bathrooms. Well, let's go the other way. Dirty bathrooms say an awful lot. It says we don't care about you. Now, clean bathrooms probably don't get noticed too often. Well, that's a good thing, okay? <clears throat> Enough on that topic. I got a few more. Um, church bathroom decor can send a message, okay? A lot of the men out there are saying, yeah, yeah, big deal. Okay, so let's start with the ladies. There's a, a church I've been to that their ladies' room, restroom has a setting room. A couple of nice chairs, table, mirror, it's all beautifully appointed. Um, I have no idea what their ladies' room looks like, but I'm told it's pretty nice. <coughs> that same church, the men's room, the best word to describe it is utilitarian. <laughs> It works. No decorations. Um, you know, that, that sends a good message to the ladies. It doesn't send a bad message to the men, but it sends an indifferent one. Another, another local church, um, again, I haven't been in the ladies' room, but the men's room, they've got wallpaper that's a hunting theme, and they've got a little border around the top of the wall that's I got a uh, hunting theme. They got f fishing rods. They got plaques about hunting and fishing. And uh, well, that's kind of cool. I don't know that I really care, but it's kind of cool. It sends a nice message to the guys. Not that they care, but hey, okay, it does send a message. And maybe so, maybe we do care. Um, I know there was a large church that held a women's conference and they had one bathroom that was just one person bathroom. All the men that were there, and there weren't many, um, they had to use that. They were told in advance. All the men's rooms in that large church, they put a ladies sign over the men's sign and <laughs> they, they put flowers on the sinks you know, vases, and they put flowers in the urinals. <laughs> okay, so ladies like to have a nice looking bathroom. Church, how you doing? Um, okay, let's, let's leave decor. There, I've got others written down, but it doesn't matter. You get the idea. Decor is nice, especially for the ladies. Um, 
That's the difference in, in nature between men and women. And now uh, some of the men are going to care, some aren't. Some of the ladies are going to care, some aren't. Uh, you know, so be it. But the decor sends a message. But there are other things about restrooms that they can say a lot too. Um, <laughs> make sure there's soap available. You know, if you run out of soap, a lot of people don't like that. And some people are allergic to scented soaps. So it costs a little more, but if you have unscented soap, that's going to really tell those people you thought about them. I'm just saying. Isn't that a message? Paper towels. Even if you have those air dryers, have some paper towels. Some people don't like those. Paper towels can be used for a mopping up around the sink, whatever. But if you run out of paper towels, and especially if you don't have a, an air dryer, man, that does not make people happy. And it makes them think you don't really care. You should never run out of paper towels in your restroom. Speaking of running out, toilet paper. Not only do people get frustrated when you run out of paper towel, you run out of toilet paper, it can be a crisis. Should never, 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 never happen. Never, ever, never, ever. Enough said. But speaking of toilet paper, have you ever been in one of the toilet stalls where they have those two toilet holders, two toilet roll holders, great big plastic things, they got the black cover on the side usually, the ones around here anyway. So one company, they got them, all the contracts. Except that it's mounted down so low that you can't reach up inside if the toilet paper is, is not started. And you have to switch rolls or maybe it just, somebody ripped it off and it ripped off way high and you can't even, you ever have, feel like you gotta lay down on the floor to reach up inside those? Come on people, mount them higher up. If you got safety bars for people, then, then mount it high enough. Listen, somebody that's eight years old, they can, they may be shorter than I am, but they can still reach to what shoulder height for me. And that'll leave room for the bars, to, for the people that need the bars to, to maneuver. Those things don't need to be down on the ground. Raise them a few inches, like a foot or more. <clears throat> I was in a church recently where they have their flush toilets have a pedal to flush them. Now these are really, really old. Um, this is an you know, old school that's been converted. It was built, you know, 50, 60 years ago. No, those are cool flush toilets. You gotta step on this pedal, but they're near the back. The stalls are narrow. You know, uh, it's hard for some people, especially older people, to reach back and step on those. They're afraid they're gonna lose their balance. They're leaning against the wall. Um, I think the church needs to replace those with something a little easier for the general population to use. Much less, what are you saying to somebody that's in a wheelchair? <laughs> they can't even flush that toilet no matter what they do. If you're not meeting the needs of everyone, you're not meeting the needs of everyone. That sounds like a redundancy, but it's, it's something to think about. You're saying what? You're second class people, we don't want you? I'm not trying to be crass here, just saying. All right, well, let me, let me skip over some of the stuff. One last pet peeve, coat hooks in toilet stalls. There are a lot of restrooms that don't have them. Now, if you live up north, you get winter. People come in wearing these big bulky winter overcoats. What do they got to do? Throw them on the floor? That's not good. Even if you live in the south, people come in wearing big bulky raincoats. You know, knee-length raincoats. 
makes it hard. Got to throw them on the floor. Come on, churches. Put some, to some coat hooks in your toilet stalls. And, and speaking of throwing stuff on the floor, bathroom floors are not notorious for being the cleanest of places. And most women don't want, I asked, come on, most women don't want to throw their purse on the floor. So they what, they're supposed to hold it? Got to hold my purse in my lap while I go to the bathroom. Come on, you got a coat hook so they can hang it up. All right, toilet paper, coat hooks, paper towels, soap, cleanliness. What's your church restroom saying to your members and more important even to your visitors? I'm just asking.